Protesters scattered all over Fort Worth, Texas. Let's see what some of them have to say about Syria. SSR of 2013. We are the aggressor. And Syria has Russia as an ally. And they have nukes, and Putin is no punk. We're about to start World War III over a because Israel is telling us to and the bankers want us to. We are the bane of the world. America is the Nazis of 2013. How many nations are we at war with? How many nations is Russia at war with? Or the evil Chinese? We're spreading death and destruction all over the world just because Israel tells us to and it's profitable for the bankers and weapons manufacturers. When will America stop being aggressive? This is not our war. And they're lying again, the same lies they told over and over and over again. Enough! I'm glad that so many people have shown up today. Uh, we're working as hard as we can and organizing as many people as possible to make the American people understand that this is not our war. We don't need to shed any more blood or go into any other country and loot their, loot their resources, all for the banksters. All wars are bank wars. Ah, it's about time we stop fighting wars for the military industrial complex and for uh, the corporate democracy. I, I, I find that uh, we're killing for interests that are beyond the people, and it's for the powers that be, and it's time that's over. I'm here because enough is enough. Things are not changing, and they're getting worse. And unless people stand up and speak up for change, just get away from their TVs and watching football games and baseball games and just going about normal lives and daily work chores, they're going to get worse. Our kids are going to suffer. Our kids' kids are going to suffer. If we get that far, if things will change, we're not going to even get that far. Because we have no business in intervening in the civil war in Syria. There are no American interests at stake. Why is everybody here today? Why is everybody here to protest for getting involved in Syria? It's, it, has a, it has a very logical conclusion of starting World War III if we go in there. No problem! So why do you think it's going to lead up to World War III? Well, I mean, Russia and China have both already come out, and not to mention Iran, one of Syria's closest allies. They've all already come out and said, if you even think about launching a rocket, then we're going to get, we're going to launch countermeasures. Not not only that, but Russia's already launched two counter warships, and they're blocking up the eastern side of the Mediterranean. We've got we've we've got strategically placed warships very close to Egypt as well as Syria. What do you think the U.S. is going to do? We've got, it looks like a chessboard over there, and now Russia's closed up the Mediterranean. I'm sorry, but that screams, oh my God, don't get involved to me. It, it's elementary. And how people would, would rather sit there and veg out on Honey Boo Boo or Miley Cyrus twerking or sports? Good God, wake days. up. Just wake up. Our government is killing us. They're, ki they're sending my brothers in arms, my brothers and sisters in, at arms, to die for a lie. A lie. The rebels have already come out and admitted it. It's all for profit. All it's for all for banks. profit. War's a racket. Smedley okay. Butler, one of, Major General Smedley Butler, one of the most famous Marines in all of history, wrote a book called War's Racket. It's nothing more than to line the pockets of the, people, the, the, the rich people in charge. You got all these lobbyists in Congress right now. Just they're getting paid by the bankers and all the people. Yeah. Well, he's just to push it, just for us to go to war. And the pro, the pro-war people are saying, oh well, well, how much is Al-Assad? How, how many people has he killed? A hundred thousand? I'm sorry, how many are going to die if we start World War Three? A hundred thousand? No, way more than a hundred thousand. Do you think Al Nasser Front or Al Qaeda is any better than Assad? No, they're way worse. Hell no, of course. We're out here today protesting the beginning of the war against Syria. It could be it would start World War III. It's the same playbook that the bankers have used over and over throughout history. It's the same story in Iraq with weapons of mass destructions. It's what they're now doing with the 
the gas thing in, in Syria. All it is is for profit. It's going to is, is going to help the military industrial complex. It's going to help the politicians grab more power, uh, re remove your freedoms, and there is no justification. We, we need to follow the Constitution, have support of the people, have the people support the war through their congressmen, through their representatives, and that is the only way we should have a legal, justified war. As you can see, people are starting to wake up. We're not going to fall for it anymore. We are watching you.